In this video we will be completing drawing 1-6, the gasket. I've downloaded my drawing and I've also started a new drawing again using that TD template. For this drawing rather than drawing a box around the entire part like we've done on the previous ones I'm just going to draw a box locating my center marks and then a couple lines to locate some of these center marks out here as well. My width between these center marks here is 5 inches, 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5 inches. My height between these center marks is 4 inches. So we will go 5 inches, 4 inches and finish that. I also have a center mark running through the middle and vertically also through the middle. And that should locate most of my center marks. Now the distance between this center mark right here and this center mark right here we need to figure out what that is between these two if we have seven inches we could calculate some of this down to figure out what this is the easier method is to take our center line or our center center line there that's in the middle and offset that three point five inches each side and that's going to give us that vertical center mark there so let's offset this 3.5 and then we'll extend these out and that should help us locate those center marks so I have all of these center marks located and I'm going to go ahead and draw all of these circles. Now there's eight of these circles, eight times, meaning there's the same circle eight times over. It has a diameter of 0.50. So let's do circle with a diameter 0 0.50, 0 0.5, circle with the diameter. 0.5 and we will just continue that for all of these now I could be using a mirror command to speed things up I could just come up here and click this each time whatever works the easiest and the quickest and whichever commands that you remember is what you should be doing. So I have all eight of my circles. If I take a look at my outside radius of this circle, I have a radius of 0.5, which would be a diameter of one. So let's go ahead and put those in on our corners. Our center point is going to remain the same for each of these and one more on the corner okay now we know that we have a tangent line running between the top and the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then start trimming out a few of my lines to help clarify some of the drawing here so we can clear out just a few of these lines just to help us see what's going on okay we know that this circle flows smoothly into this vertical line here 
So we're going to draw a tangent line down a little ways. And up a little ways. And I'm going to take these and just mirror them onto the other side. Okay, my outside diameter here on this particular one is 0.50, so we can put those in. And that is actually a radius, not a diameter. 0.5, and I could take this and mirror this if I wanted. Okay, and I have this inside curve, and we'll have to take a look at that one in just a bit. Let's go ahead and move on to this inside. I am at 2.12 away from my, my center line, so I could offset that 2.12. Vertically, I'm 2.88, so I could offset that. 1.44 which would be half of that so if I offset this 1.44 and offset this one 2.12 okay that will give me some of my marks. I can then come in and I need to do a radius on here as well, but I need to find my center marks for where to draw that circle. Alright, so we're coming along. I'm going to be trimming back some of these lines so I can help see what's actually going on here. So we'll get rid of some of these just to help clarify things. Get rid of that one and this one here. Trim off some of these extra pieces. Okay, and I'm going to delete out my center lines here just to make it a little bit clearer for the purpose of explaining it. On my drawing, I have this radius. That radius has a center point located right here. I need to start my circle with a radius of 0.5 from this point, but I need to find that point. Because this is a tangent circle to the vertical line and to this circle here, if we offset this circle A half an inch and we offset this line a half an inch that's going to give us that center point so let's see what that's going to look like so I'm going to type in offset in the command line and hit enter or you could come up to your toolbar at the top and select offset I'm going to specify my offset distance as 0.50 so I'm going to specify here 0 0.50, enter. I'm going to offset my outside circle, and I'm going to offset my vertical line. Okay, now this intersection is this center point. We're going to create a circle with a radius of 0.5. So I'm going to come up here do a circle center with a radius. I'm going to select that new intersection I just made. I'm going to do a radius of 
enter, and that created a circle tangent to those two other objects. I'm gonna come back and delete the line that I offset and delete the circle that I offset and then trim these extra pieces. All right, let's do that one more time. I'm gonna type in offset. I'm gonna specify 0.5 inches, enter. I'm gonna offset my circle. I'm gonna offset my vertical line. I'm going to create a circle with a radius of 0.5, enter. I'm gonna delete the line that I offset and delete the circle that I offset and then trim off the extra pieces that I don't need. Now I can do this again over on the other side or I can just take those circle pieces that I offset and I can mirror those pieces onto the other side and then trim. Now our radius down here is 0.25. I'm gonna follow that same procedure for this corner. I'm gonna offset 0.25, enter. I'm gonna offset this line, offset my vertical line, create a circle with a radius, 0.25, enter. Delete out my lines that I offset trim off the pieces that I don't need. One more time, offset 0.25, offset them, create a circle with a radius 0.25, delete my lines, trim my pieces, and then I'm going to just mirror those onto the other side. Now, here's one issue that I just noticed. Because I changed the length of this line, if I mirror this based upon the center point of that new line, it puts it in the wrong spot. It puts it too far over. Instead of choosing the center mark on this line, I'm going to select this, I'm going to mirror it based on the center point of my top line, which is in the center of my drawing. Likewise, I could select my top right arc and mirror that based on the right quadrant of this circle trim off the excess pieces and let's take a look at our drawing okay we have it all drawn and we need to come back and put in our center marks so I'm going to come back to a center line and I'm going to make sure that these center marks extend beyond our object just a little ways so that we can tell where our center marks begin, where the center marks end, and where the object begins and ends so that we don't get confused and think that the center mark is part of our object. And here I'm just snapping to the quadrant of my circle pulling it back a little bit using that O-Track function that's turned on and dragging that line just outside of my object. And again, I did mention in the previous drawing that these center marks do not look as nice and neat as the ones in the original drawing because I haven't taught you that yet how to get that nice little plus sign in the center. For the purpose of this drawing I just want you to put the center marks in as you see. Let's go ahead and bring this one over. So 
so that we have that one drawn. And everything looks pretty good. And then lastly, we are going to save our drawing. And this one is going to be drawing 1-6.